she's back. I am so glad to have Myrtle back on the road, I cannot tell you. So Johnny replaced the radiator for me, that cost 40 quid, so that was a bargain. Then she went to the garage and she had her head gasket tested and thankfully all was well there. They did find a couple of other things that needed mending as well, so she's all spick and span now. We've still got one part on order, but the garage has bodged the bit where it's broken. They've bodged that, so temporarily it's fine, but we do have the new part on order now, thankfully. And to celebrate today, I've just popped out. I'm gonna go for a quick wander. There's a castle ruins, not far from where I live, but I don't think I've ever been there. So I'm off for a wander there, and then I'm gonna come back and cook up my lunch in the van, just because I can. <laughs> So I reckon we've got two hours according to the Met Office before this weather comes in so it's very windy, very blustery but let's go and have a wander and see how far we get before we get peed upon. Let's go. <laughs> Holy moly, I got back just in time. The heavens have just opened. So I literally darted into Myrtle and hid from it. It's a bit soggy. So today's recipe is for BLT noodles. It is from my ebook. If you do not have my ebook, you need to have my ebook. It's free. This is a physical copy of the ebook. What you're gonna get if you sign up to my newsletter over on my website, link below, is that you'll get the PDF version of this. So it will be delivered to your email address. You can then print it off. You can put it in your camp kitchen. You can download it and keep it on your phone or your tablet or whatever works for you when you're camping. And inside is 10, except obviously I'm an overachiever, so there's actually 11. Recipes using instant noodles as the base. Now, we all know that these things are full of crap, but the crap is basically contained in here. This is basically just noodles that have been cooked and then dehydrated, so there's not actually too much rubbish in here. This stuff here is poison, please don't eat this. Just open it, pack it up and chuck the spit away. What I will say is that a lot of the imported noodles um, have palm oil as an ingredient, so if you care at all about this lovely little bubble that we live on, um, just quickly read through the ingredients of the ones you're gonna get and just make sure that palm oil isn't on there or if it is that it's certified safe per palm oil. These ones, these are just cheapy ones from Sainsbury's, these don't contain palm oil. So please bear that in mind because even if you're throwing it away, they still have to create the palm oil 
to be in the sachet. So just bear that in mind for me. So in this little tub here, I've got the block of noodles that I broke up before I opened the bag and I've just tipped them into a tub. In here is boiling water that I brought with me. So it's probably cooled down a little bit now, but it will still do the job. So all I'm gonna do, if I can get the lid off is pour it over my noodles. See, I'm not even gonna bother cooking them. I'm just gonna rehydrate them because they're already cooked. We'll get rid of that. And I'm just gonna loosely pop the lid back on that tub and I'm just gonna leave that sit and let it rehydrate those noodles. Now in this pan, what we're gonna do is cook up some bacon because as we know, bacon makes everything taste better. Hmm. There she blows. Not literally, thankfully. So nice low medium heat going on here. And then I've got streaky bacon and mine is smoked because I love the extra flavor that smoked bacon has, but use whatever bacon is your favorite. And what we want to do is capture all that lovely rendered juice from the bacon in the bottom of the pan, because then what we're going to do is we're going to cook very quickly. We're going to cook our little wedges of little gem lettuce in the bacon fat and the drippings that are in the bottom of the pan once the bacon's cooked they're gonna be delicious so something rather exciting happened yesterday i received the very rough draft it's nowhere near done but i received the first draft of um the first episode of my tv show oh my god it was very exciting i was so scared i had to wait for johnny to get home from work to watch it with me i wouldn't watch it on my own <sighs> and you know what was really nice i cried during it because obviously like a lot of my heart and soul and everything went into making that show but you know what johnny cried too which was insane it was really cool it's gonna be amazing and i cannot wait for you guys to see it oh my god and cornwall looked stunning ah I should just get a job with the tourist board down here because man, it looked beautiful. It's so exciting. Uh, we still don't know a date that the show's going to be out. Uh, all I know is going to be this winter, probably after Christmas, but I have no idea anything more than that, I'm afraid. And if you're new here and you don't know what earth I'm talking about, then in the summer I recorded my first TV show and it's six episodes long and like I say, it will be out this winter and it's going to be called Hedgecomber's Kitchen and it's going to be on Amazon Prime. It's nuts! I'm just a little pumpkin that likes to eat and suddenly I've got a TV crew following me around my farm. Nuts! Okay, so I'm just going to pop that on there, that on there and that one on there. As you can see my shoulder still doesn't work properly but who needs two shoulders? So the heat is still on got all that lovely bacon juice in the bottom there so now I'm just going to put the uh, little gem lettuce in and this is just one little gem per person and I've cut them I took cut the bottom off and I took a couple of leaves off the outside and now I'm just laying it down in the pan cut side down it's just going to soak up those juices it's going to go a little bit charred maybe a little bit crispy it's going to soften the rest of the leaves it's not going to actually cook it's not going to go soggy it's not going to be gross it's going to be delicious you wait and see you mark my words now what i'm going to do is just check my noodles look at that perfect perfect so i'm just going to surreptitiously pop outside and drain these in the gravel excuse me okay my noodles are drained so in this tub i have four sun-dried tomatoes the ones that you get in a jar that are in oil so i kind of drained off most of the oil but i wanted a little bit to stay on because what I'm going to do is pop these chopped up sun-dried tomatoes in oil into the noodles and then I'm going to try and toss them around without making too much mess and obviously I should have brought a bigger bowl for this but when's that ever stopped me let's be honest and what's going to happen is that the oil from the tomatoes is going to coat each noodle so as these start to cool down a little bit they're not going to stick together and clump they're actually going to stay as individual noodles this is the plan okay now i'm going to just quickly turn these guys over just to cook that other cut side perfect and then what i want to do with these noodles is just chop or cut or use scissors or a knife and a chopping board all your fingers if you're lazy like me and you're just going to break up that bacon let's turn that heat off grab a little bowl give it a quick dust out and then let's pop the noodles in there cool this is making me very hungry 
just toss those around again just to get all those little bacon bits and little sun-dried tomato bits mixed through and then I'm going to pop my lettuce charred lettuce onto the side as a little serving of greens there we go any bacon juice I'm not wasting that stuff that stuff is liquid gold that goes over too and there we are there my friends is my very tasty very quick blt instant noodles so don't forget you can grab this cookbook for yourself for free absolutely no charge all you need to do is go over to my blog link below and um at the top of every single page there's a little um like a little place that you can sign up to my newsletter if you do that then you will automatically get sent this as like a, a little free gift and also if you're on our mailing list then you'll also stay up to date with when the show's coming out and any gossip that we've got behind the scenes stuff obviously i've had this professionally bound um i went took it to a print shop and they printed it out and bound it for me but what you'll get is a load of pretty pictures and you'll get 11 recipes using those instant noodles as the base of each recipe and this one is citrus chili crab noodles this one creamy mushroom noodles sweet chili chicken noodles blt noodles that we're eating today we've got tofu ramen we've got prawn and basil noodles we've got caprice noodle salad that was absolutely delicious this one is beautiful oh my gosh it's so pretty this is rainbow noodle salad really colorful this one is miso noodle soup and then we've got Thai red curry noodles and we've got, oh, this is the bonus recipe. This is the extra freebie, freebie recipe. This one is garlic buttered noodles. That is so simple. It is proper comfort food stodge. It's utterly delicious. All of these recipes use very minimal ingredients. Some of them I think are completely shelf friendly. So they're things that you can keep in your camper van cupboard and just knock up when you've got nothing else to eat this is my gift to you all for being damn fabulous and gorgeous and thank you for following along across the whole of the internet with all the stuff that i get up to with hedgecombers i appreciate you so much thank you also for joining me for today's video i hope you enjoyed that little wander and the castle and the grub as always i'm certainly going to enjoy that bit so I'm going to catch up with you next Wednesday for I have no clue what. Uh, possibly a recipe in Myrtle. Possibly, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. It's so exciting. Have a brilliant week, guys. A fantastic weekend ahead, whatever you're up to. And I'll see you next week. Mwah! Over and out. Oh, yeah. <laughs>